right guys, today we're talking about the 22 IDEX V2. Now we've been printing for years in high temp and this machine was really conceived from a desire to have a machine that we could use every day in our shop printing high temp day in day out in a production environment and here we are today. So let me give you the basic overview of the V2 and all the new features. Going straight into the specs, some of the unique features are the triple motor auto bed leveling system, our automatic tool head alignment for the X and the Y and the nozzle Z height calibration system. It also comes with a quad motor gantry system and a 500 Celsius hot end, 90 Celsius actively heated chamber, and 200 Celsius self-leveling build plate. All enclosed in a solid steel frame. Controlling this is the well-known, well-documented open source Duet 2 Wi-Fi control boards or Ethernet for our military and DoD customers. All right, so what's new in the V2? The hot end, extruder, leveling probe, more metal parts, more interface and firmware improvements, and lots of tiny details throughout the entire machine. We took all the feedback from the V1 and all our experience in our shop and made over 150 changes through the entire machine. So let's dive right in. Starting out, you've got the 500 Celsius hot ends, and these are now the American-made copperheads from Slice Engineering, as well as the new LGX Pro extruders from Bontech. Now, we tried a ton of different combinations of hot ends and extruders and everything else over the years, and when it comes down to it, quality gets you quality, man. With the cheaper options, you get a lot more clogs, a lot more jams, less consistency, and just a lot more headaches. Just using the best quality on these two components prevents a ton of the headaches that you'd normally get in 3D printing. The LGX extruder combines a lightweight and compact design to improve speeds, but mostly it's for the excellent performance. The extra large gears in there make sure that your filament isn't slipping during printing and that ensures consistent extrusion. And that means more consistent parts in production. Now the hot ends come standard with our E3D V6 style hardened steel nozzles and you've got the whole market of options out there and it's a 1.75 millimeter open material system which means you can use any filament on the market. High temp, low temp, carbon fiber, glass fiber, even the metal filled materials from BASF like Ultrafuse where you can center it after and get solid metal parts. Now, if you're making custom materials on your own, then this is also a great machine to do your research and development on. Next, we've got the 90 Celsius chamber. Now, it's totally critical to have an actively heated chamber to print almost every engineering material like nylon or polycarbonate, but especially the super high temps like Peak, Ultima, or PPS. If you don't have a heated chamber, you get ridiculously extreme warping, curling, and a lot of failed prints. The heated chamber basically relaxes the polymer structure, which gets rid of these issues before they even happen. Now we've always had insulation on the inside of the chamber, but for the V2, we've changed it to be a more efficient angle and airflow path for the heater itself, as well as a side mounted blower fan to improve the hot air circulation. That brings me to the 200 Celsius bed. This is mechanically self-leveling. There's no build plate leveling knobs, and it's also got the adaptive mesh leveling using our new servo mounted probe. Now, why does this matter? In high temp machines, it's extremely important because you have to level the bed and calibrate everything while it's hot, while it's heat soaked, while it's preheated. If you level it cold and then warm the machine up, it's gonna throw everything off with the thermal expansion. On other machines, you just have to reach into a scalding hot chamber and turn some ridiculously hot knobs on the bottom of a hot, hot build plate. And frankly, I probably still have some burn marks from the early days. Now with this machine, one of the things I love the most about it is you never have to do that. You just heat the machine up and then you start your print and it'll automatically level and calibrate before every single print. The bed now is also insulated on the bottom side to keep pumping that heat up into the print surface. And that brings me to electronics. This is using the open source Duet 2 Wi-Fi or Ethernet edition for our military and DoD customers. And we basically went with the, one of the most proven and time-tested platforms in the industry, Duet 3D. Now, why did we do that? Unlike a lot of other companies, we're not locking down this firmware. It's standard rep wrap, and that means if you want to modify it, you absolutely can. With most machines, you can't even get into the guts, sort of like Apple versus PC, iPhone versus Android. You can modify one, you really can't do anything on the other, and ours is the one you can modify. It's fully open source, so you can program it to do whatever you like. You can use the plethora of user-created modules and functions for the past decade of development, all available online. And it also comes pre-programmed with some functions and some macros, which 
which we update at docs.visionminer.com. You can do things like how the machine functions at the end of a print, or calibrating the nozzle, or as you can see, making the bed dance. The options are literally endless. And this brings me to the next part, which is the motion system. Let's talk about all the stuff that's driving this machine. So inside here, you can see it's gonna go ahead and just level itself back out here in just a moment. We've got nine motors in this machine. We've got four motors driving the X and the Y, and then we've got three motors on the Z axis, which allowed it to do that bed dance, and then two extruder motors. So when you're moving at speed, this is important because you need lots of torque and you need plenty of power and stability. And frankly, this is pretty overbuilt. And they're all 180 C rated LDO motors. There's also more metal. Everything related to the motion system is metal. The mounts, the Z shuttles, the crossbar and the bed, alloy compatibility. You don't want one of them warping in the heat while the other one's staying flat. A lot of the original parts in the machine were actually 3D printed and kudos to the thought. But from the years we've spent in high temp printing, Everything changes at high temps and metal is master in this territory. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the capabilities of the machine. What can you really do with it? Well, first it's the materials. You can literally use any filament on the market. Normal materials like PLA and ABS, TPU, ASA, and engineering materials like nylon or polycarbonate, all the way up to the ultra performance materials like PEAK, PEC, PSU, PPSU, PPS, Ultim 9085 and 1010. Functional materials for specialty parts, niche parts. Whether you're making money or you're making a spaceship, either way, you've got unlimited options in this machine. Okay, so you're printing these materials. When you're printing with the IDEX system, what modes and options do you have? Obviously, you've got the standard single extrusion mode. You can print with any material, just like any normal high temp printer. One nozzle goes around and you can print parts. You've also got dual extrusion. So with dual extrusion, you're using both nozzles and you can use one nozzle for the material, one nozzle for support materials like Aquatech, or you can use multiple colors. You can also use multiple materials like TPU and ASA to have a living hinge or nylon and carbon fiber nylon. So you can have a really rigid, strong core, but still a slick nylon outer shell. You can even use different nozzle sizes. You can use a 0.8 millimeter for the body of a part and then a 0.2 millimeter for little fine details on that same part. And to make all that even easier to use, we've got our automatic XY tool head alignment system. Next, you've also got duplicate mode and mirror mode. And this is where production really shines. You can print two of the same part at once, which literally doubles your production output. Saving time and money, increasing your profitability, it's almost like buying two printers in one. Just recently we got a rush job for an oil drilling company and they needed their parts fast. So in order to meet the deadline, we used duplicate mode and got all the parts out ahead of schedule. Compared to regular dual extrusion, IDEX really shines because in regular dual extrusion, your nozzles are locked next to each other. And sometimes they raise and lower, but you still deal with some pretty significant issues, mainly oozing. All these high temp polymers tend to be hygroscopic, which means they get moisture, which means they have steam bubbles. And if you have a little bit of moisture or if it's oozing and leaking a little bit, I mean, you got dual extrusion and that's great until you get some support material inside your carbon fiber peak part, which was supposed to go into space. True story and one of the reasons we demanded having an IDEX machine, independent dual extruder. One nozzle's on the side, other nozzle's printing. You don't have to worry about oozing on parts or ramming into parts, ruining parts. IDEX is definitely the way to go. Next, we've got speeds. So yes, the travel speeds, the, the maximum speed that we allow on this machine is 500 millimeters a second. And we do print at 300 millimeters a second with some materials, but in general, with the higher temp materials, you will be going a bit slower because speed is all based on material flow how it behaves, the crystallization rates, and a bunch of other factors. So yes, it absolutely can go extremely fast, but that shouldn't be your main concern when buying a printer. In general, you should be focused on good parts, and that may mean printing slower in some materials. Good parts are accurate parts. Let's talk about the accuracy. The motion system is capable of 10 microns on the X and the Y and seven microns on the Z axis, but Remember, with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, you're never gonna max that out because remember, it's a round orifice. 
the 0.4 millimeter circle. Accuracy is a lot more dependent on the material behavior, how it's sliced, than the mechanical system's theoretical limits. So hitting 5 thou tolerances is very achievable, and with tuning, you can get it even better. It brings me to power. So what kind of power source do you need for this? A 110 volt standard plug. You can use it just about anywhere in the USA. We do recommend a minimum 15 amp breaker, 20 amp if you can. And it does use Meanwell power supplies, quality wires, and we've added this new magnetically attached power switch. So you can place this anywhere on the machine and have quick access to stop it if something's going wrong or just turn it on from wherever you like. And that brings me to the interface. This machine primarily uses Duet web control, which you can access from any device with a web browser on the local network. So for example, I can whip out my phone here and I can uh, see this and let me just turn it off real quick. There we go. Let me turn it back on. All right, that's easy. Now, if you do need an actual screen, because maybe you won't have access to a network all the time, there is an optional PanelView 7i screen if required. Next, we've got support. This machine comes with American support. Yes, we're real people here, and we're helping businesses make more parts and make more money and save more time. So the last thing you want is a company overseas with a 24-hour turnaround on emails and a language barrier that makes them impossible to understand in the first place. This is huge. When you call, you get somebody in our office, and we are, and we're there to help you. Now, what's the best part of this entire video? We've been really patient. We've overcome many challenges getting these machines to where they need to be. And the support from our customers and community has been absolutely amazing. So we sincerely thank you all for helping us get to where we are today. And with that said, we're happy to announce that these V2s, at the time of this filming, are in stock, ready to ship. On that note, they are selling out very fast. So if you want one, be sure to contact us immediately to secure your earliest allocation. There's a lot more to come from here, many updates coming. Please stay tuned and give us a call or shoot us an email. We're here to help with all your questions and inquiries. So thank you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video.